Hello, I'm Lily Evans, proving to my best friend Alice Foley that despite what she read in Hogwarts history, not all muggle technology goes wonky on the Hogwarts grounds. I stand corrected. Now, how do I... Is it supposed to be blinking like that? Yes, it means it's on. Well, what's that then? Hey! Basically, we're hijacking the Halloween feast. We've got the house elves on board to bring out a giant cake. Potter is going to get fireworks that spell out happy birthday and I've told Remus I'll charm all the banners to be big grinning pictures of Sirius's face. Oh, and we've got this wicked potion for the goblets. That sounds more like something James would like. Well, oh, birds of a feather, those two. Only happy when all the attention is on them. Evans? Alice? Hmm. Oh, come now, where's your holiday spirit? It is I, your humble servant, returned from Quidditch practice with a stolen Slytherin banner so you can practice your charms. That's very noble of you, stealing for the sake of Sirius. I've been wondering, how is it you're able to get into our room? I guess I'd never thought about it. I just assumed you'd be invited in some way. Like a vampire. No, oh, not that directly, just sort of... Sort of that if you wanted someone in your bedroom, they'd be allowed. Oh, stop it, you. No, that doesn't work. How do you know? Well, Frank tried to come up once and the stairs just melted away. <laughs> Frank Wait, what's this? Awesome. Anyway, Remus has been up here a hundred times and Sirius comes to listen to records. You've thought about this. Well, I had to, obviously, when Frank... Well, when he didn't make it. <coughs> I bet it's Potter's invisibility cloak. I'm sorry. It only makes me invisible, not not male. And besides, have you ever seen Sirius or Remus try to use it? Well, I guess in theory you wouldn't see them. No, so then what? I'll let you sort that one out. Are you sure Sirius doesn't suspect anything? I'm positive. I just saw him. And he's thoroughly glum about coming of age at the same time he's being disowned. I'm afraid he's had quite a few expensive gifts going that route. Well, I worry he's been listening in on our plans. Or with that mirror you use, or through that monstrosity with the blinking light. I've left it in my trunk. Let's have a little faith, Alice. I know how to plan a surprise. And the camera doesn't work like that, not to worry. You'll have to go to the village for the fireworks, but you'll never be allowed. Well, I won't be taking a professor with me as such. I think they'll notice you strutting out the front door. I do not strut. Ah, fine. I see what you think of me. Well, Evans, as it so happens, I have a secret weapon. <laughs> a secret? You couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. Especially not if you thought it would make you more popular. What the bloody hell is that? Evans, language! She's very sensitive. This is exquisite. Really, really impressive magic. Did you make it? With a little help from my friends. Oh, so Remus, then. Oh, Sirius is quite good Thanks as Thanks well. for the votes of confidence, ladies. James, this is really useful. If you can create something like this, you could help the Order in a big way. I'll stick to nicking food out of the kitchens, thanks. She's right, Potter, though. You could be doing so much good. <laughs> Look, coming up the stairs. Oh, in three, two, one. Hi. Whoa, Mooney. You look like you've seen McGonagall with a hair down. Remus, what is it? It's, um... It's Frick's father. He went out on assignment for the order a few weeks ago, and no. um, Frank asked me to tell you he's already gone home. Saw him in the hall on the way to use Dumbledore's fireplace. White as a sheep. He suspected his father wouldn't come back from whatever it was he'd been assigned. He said he'd made peace with it, but his poor mother. Frank deserved better. We all deserve better. He must have felt it was necessary to stop you-know-who. In fact, I think we should honor him. We could do more. We should be fighting a lot harder than we are right now. Alice, we're doing the best we can. We're stupid. We can always be better. 
I have to go tell Peter. He'll not take this one, I'm afraid. I'll go with you. I should send an owl to Frank. What, Potter? You have more bad news. Just want to be sure you're all right. I am. I am. This just makes Sirius's birthday that much more important. You have to find things to celebrate. Don't let things get too bleak. Alice is coming back. <laughs> Probably to chase you out of here. I don't think she likes you very much. But you like me. Right, Evans? On your good days. Mischief man. I'm never going to get this right. I can't worry about transfiguration when I'm worried about Frank. He sent me an owl this morning. His family is dealing with his father's death privately. Frank is fine. I hate that word. Fine. That's what you're worried about from that sentence. <laughs> what is it you're working on? <laughs> the Avis charm. Well, you're doing the movements too prettily. It's not an art, it's a science. If you're having trouble with transfiguration, I would go to James. He is the best in our year. And we've had a flock of birds in our room for a month. They're bloody irritating. He was smugly answering all of McGonagall's questions about the 11th hour principle. What was it he said? <clears throat> Selwyn's 11th hour principle dictates that when performing complex charms and transfigurations, one's mind has to be completely tuned to the task at hand. At the crucial moment, the wand and the wizard must become one. A warning, when channeling concentration into particularly difficult spell work, wands can crack under the pressure. That's cheerful. How is it he was able to recite that from memory? It's not fair that he's good looking, good at Quidditch, and intelligent. Shouldn't he be a failure in at least one area? Having a photographic memory doesn't necessarily make someone intelligent. I will never repeat what was here today. <laughs> Where did you say he was? Maybe you can help me figure out what it is I'm not getting about the 11th hour. Uh, he mentioned the library at breakfast. <sighs> I have to finish this. I'll let him take the mic as long as he can actually help. You shouldn't encourage them. <laughs> Why not? It's inevitable. Not necessarily. I think she could be quite happy with someone else as well. Alice. Fine. But I have something I need to tell you. I'm not sure like where this is going. Remus, this is important. The Ministry came to me a few weeks ago. They're gathering students for a secret aura training program. Wow. That's fantastic. You'll have no trouble being made an aura once you graduate. You've earned it, definitely. But I'm just I know what you're going to say, but I can't just sit here. I have to feel like I'm doing everything I can to defeat he who must not be named. Even behind these stupid walls. You are. We all are. Sirius comes of age in just a couple of days, and the rest of us will follow. The Order will be happy to have us. The fresh blood is overdue. I agree. They could certainly use the help, and frankly, the enthusiasm. Some members have made the Order their lives. And I don't want to see you swallowed by their ambition. Not everyone has, though. Look at the Weasleys. They've carried on with their family. I admire that. I think we all do. You've really thought about this then? Absolutely. This program is the first step towards making the Order more efficient, and therefore the world a better place. The Order of the Phoenix is the noblest cause I can think of, and I'd be honoured to fight for them. 
See, that same argument could be made for the other side. Look at Lily's former best friend. Snape. You're comparing me to Snape. I just mean to warn you. They think they're being noble too. Where's Evans? She went off looking for you, actually. For homework help, transfiguration. What did you need her for? I've just been thinking about this whole prank thing, for serious, and what you all said yesterday. Might be true, we should maybe be thinking about more important things. I was just thinking about Frank and his father, and Sirius and his father, and me and my own father. Promise. Because... Right, sorry, I'm not sure where it left me, I just... I feel weird about the whole hijinks. Are you ill? Do you actually agree with me? I'm not sure. James, you know we're doing what we can. We are learning a lot. And we know more than most. But maybe we should go on about that dotty dueling club that Marlene is always talking about. Or we could leave the castle. We don't have to stay here. We could go out and, and look for more trouble. No, thank you. We're in it enough as it is. I can't believe I'm saying this, but James is right. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? You are in a position to do more than most. You have that cloak, that map, and something else I've always suspected but can't put my finger on. You're brave. Stupid, but brave, the four of you. Alice, I am just not getting... <clears throat> oh, Potter, there you are. I was just... What's going on here? Alice was just agreeing with me. You brat! Alice! Oh. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Stupid hey. Graphic memory makes you so smart. You are such a brat. Is that all you think I am? Oh, that's a all you will ever be. You come in here acting like you want to do what's necessary, but you don't know what you want. Can't look beyond the end of your broomstick. Alice, please, calm down. Oh, calm? Oh, I'm calm. I've never been more calm. I'd hate to see her when she's not. That's not helping, James. Oh, and you! You act like school is the only preparation we need, but you've got a bit of extra help when it comes to defending yourself, haven't you? Alice! How dare you! What's gone into you? We were discussing the prank, and now I'm not sure we should do it. No, what about Sirius? There are bigger things than Sirius Black's birthday, Lily. Yes, but don't you see, that's the whole point. They can't take that away from us. Exactly. There's just a lot- Oh, don't tell me the great James Potter is backing out of a prank. Fine. I won't. You really should use that word. This is exactly what I'm on about. You all can't think beyond some stupid schoolyard prank when there is a war happening beyond these walls. That's not what I'm saying at all. Lily, I've had enough of that eternal optimism today. Take that back. Well, hey, hey. What Alice is trying to say is that we can't ignore that there are bigger things going on these days. We have to be ready. So now you're on her side. I'm on the Order's side. I'm on Dumbledore's side. I'm on humanity's side. And I'm not? It's more complicated than that, mate. We're all on the same side. And it's not as if we must all go one path or the other. Applying too much concentration will crack us, right? The eleventh hour principle. Good for spells, bad for humans. If any of us had our priorities straight, we would be out there right now fighting with the Order. And Frank might still have a father. I think you should go. <laughs> About time. I'm not apologizing if that's what you want. Oh, well, none of you apologize. Except for Remus, and he apologizes before he's even done anything wrong. I just can't have you running off to save the world. I'm not brave enough without you. That's rubbish. I've seen you shouting at people when you think they're being cruel. I've seen you shout at James. Shouting at a boy at school is different than facing he who must not be named. 
Everyone is scared. Florence didn't even come back this year. It's safe here. It's the safest here. She should have stayed. Now she'll be holed up in Cornwall, waiting it out. But you're not good at waiting. And honestly, neither am I. We're not. I refuse to wait around and fight a war on someone else's schedule. That doesn't mean I'm not scared. Our year is shrinking. So many didn't come back. In September, I was looking around the platform for Eleanor from Ravenclaw, the one with the brilliant knack for cheering charms. And I found out later that her parents took her entire family to America. And they're pure blood. I've lied to my parents about how bad things are. They're not subscribed to the prophet, so they don't see that horrible Skeeter woman's report. It's practically just a death toll of muggle-borns. It won't be you, Lil. It's all right if it is. As long as I go down fighting. But Alice, not now. Not yet. I'm not ready. And life shouldn't stop for the sake of mulling around bemoaning our fate. Nor should we go charging out of one of Potter's secret passages to take on the Death Eaters ourselves. I've only come to say that I'm sorry for shouting. Particularly at you, Alice. Did James Potter just apologize? Only a little. Well, that's a relief. And I'm sorry for trying to stun you. But only a little. I'll be back later. Anyway, everything's ready tonight. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the prank. What I'm sorry about is that we didn't manage to get that potion right. It sounded lovely. Imagine all the goblets filled with sparkling, bubbling drinks that look deadly, but taste different according to each person's tastes. <laughs> the definition of a harmless prank. Sadly, I'm rubbish at potions. Oh, I'm aware. I'm the one bringing the wolfsbane in the girls' toilet, remember? I don't suppose you could ask Snibbleus to whip it up for us? <laughs> Certainly not after that greaseball insulted the only person at Hogwarts who could stand him. Besides, he's been hanging around a rather dark crowd this year. I've never heard you say such things about him. When did you get so concerned about Severus anyway? I've just never seen you so... What? Angry. <sighs> James Potter, you are the most oblivious boy I've ever met! Just because I'm not throwing a fit every five seconds doesn't mean I'm not angry. I'm furious. I'm angry that Alice feels useless because she's a student. I'm angry that such a kind soul as Remus has to suffer so much because of the moon. I'm angry at whatever Death Eater killed Frank's father and he who must not be named for spreading such reckless hate. And I'm angry at Severus for being such a horrible friend. Snape is a git. He didn't know what he had. And what was that exactly? Someone clever. Someone brave. Someone so full of love. Your huge heart will save us all. I don't like that look, Potter. Which one? The one you're giving me right now. It's the same one you've got when you won at Quidditch. Lily Evans. You are hardly a Quidditch match. Just as long as you know I'm not the snitch. Not the thing you catch to end the game. You know I'm a chaser, right? No. <laughs> Just don't tell the marauders that I kissed you, alright? For now. I wouldn't dare upset the only prefect I know willing to cause a bit of havoc at the Halloween feast. I'd cause any havoc for Sirius. Alice, Remus, any of you. And especially now, we need to find things to celebrate. We can't let the Death Eaters win today, and we won't let them win tomorrow. That love, that fierceness, that's so important. Never lose that. 